I feel like I'm not on planet Earth right now. I'm in truly some extraterrestrial environment. The world isn't supposed to look like this. It's an imaginary spot, but there was a spot to be reached. And once you reached it, then nobody else could reach it first. We're just talking about um, the Antarctic. Um, Antarctica and this continent of ice as it is. There is only one untouched reservoir of raw materials left in the world, and that's in the region known as Antarctica. An area larger than the combined area of the United States and Europe. It was um, tracking 42 children from different countries. All those children were brought to a facility in Canada in the Rocky Mountains. Um, underneath a small town called Nelson. You're literally connecting brains of other species. Let's say it's a bunch of uh, rat brains, three of them, all cybernetically linked. Now they've found the original, uh, if you will, some of the original settlements on Gondwanaland. That's a supercontinent. In the book of Genesis, it talks about that God parted the continents in the days of Peleg, P-E-L-E-G. One night, there's, it was about 10 hours where I was getting on and off straight seizures from these extraterrestrials that said that they're trying to empty out my mind. Like, they're literally trying to incarnate into me is what I'm getting at. Everything I'm about to say is a uh, real fact. We've got uh, Miley Cyrus saying she wants devil horns in her head. we got Justin Bieber dancing around like a, like a female. Our very distinguished guest for this evening is Admiral Richard E. Byrd. Our guest tonight found out whether there was any land north of the North American continent. He made that first discovery flight. On the Greenland ice sheet, a crack opens, and a mile-wide lake pours down a 3,000-foot chasm. But this water is just drilling down into the ice sheet. Vikings were the first to venture into the Forbidden North, but an impenetrable pack of ice pushed them back. Generation upon generation of adventurers followed in their way with little success. This continent of ice, as it is, has been a topic of great history and controversy and hidden, hidden knowledge. The American government is sending a naval expedition to that region. The purpose is to train our Navy in polar operations so that it may better perform its function of preserving the peace upon the seven seas of the world. What, what countries? Why were they selected? Um, according to the final information that I've seen, they were select, selected for because their DNA. They can read the E2 patterns and see that they're solving the same problem. One rat, if he has a special experience, will transfer that into the next brain, into the next brain. Two different giants, actual physical giants, that were encountered in Afghanistan, separated by a year apart. You feel the mountain wind and the mountain air, and you're a little lightheaded, because you're about 12 to 13,000 feet above sea level. The harvesting of souls. They're literally trying to um, incarnate into us the coming of the superhuman. This is MK Ultra. This is MK Ultra Navy Masonic Free Mason False Memory Implanted Mind Control, folks. That's what this is. A lot of us are a victim of this. Admiral Bird, you've been to both the North Pole and the South Pole. Is there any unexplored land left on this Earth that might appeal to adventurous young Americans? Uh, yes, there is. And not up around the North Pole, because it's getting crowded up there now. One of the world's biggest glaciers shears off an iceberg that is nearly a thousand feet thick. You're not supposed to be able to witness things like this. Human beings don't generally get to see these massive features of the landscape changing and vanishing in front of your eyes. Nobody was quite sure where the continent ended, you see. Nobody was quite sure that maybe the land reached all the way from the north end of North America, which nobody had seen right to the North Pole. The American government is seeking to do its share in the discovery and the release to the world of the unknown treasures of Antarctica in the interest of all mankind. They stumble on a UFO. I mean, I 
actual ship is buying this thing. And, you know, the cut takes off from there, but... The NSA information I've seen um, says that we have what they call blood crime, which um, it, it states Anunnaki DNA. So it's a type of indoctrination, just like with us human beings. Uh, you know, I mean, this is, this is great for you know, children. You want them to think the same way you do. And We're talking thousands of years ago, even before the Neolithic. I mean, it's pre-flood stuff and, and fallen angel technology, and it's staring at you right in the face, you know? And it's like, there's just no way around it. But the disclosure is, is coming, like it's here, you see like on, on multiple news sources that there's evidence of these beings. My ex-girlfriend was an FBI agent, right? She tried to set me up, most likely um, from the intelligence I was able to gather. Uh, this is some sort of blood sacrifice. Because they find out it's really usable, not only to live in, but militarily. But strangely enough, there's left in the world today an area as big as the United States that's never been seen by a human being. What Balog is witnessing suggests something extraordinary is going on. His passion is to document it and help scientists understand these monumental changes. When you're on that glacier, you can literally only see three things, and that is an infinite amount of ice an infinite amount of sky and uh, sunshine. There's a lot of ancient maps, not just one, but several of them. The most famous being the Piri Reis map. And that actually depicts the coastline of Antarctica without ice. What is blood prime? What's, what specifically are the differences? An ancient type of alien DNA, human, um, alien, hybrid. The government is working on what's called cybernetic hive minds. And this technology is actually quite old. It's been around since the 60s. There's a very dark side to all this. Getting into the giant thing, the way that came to us was bizarre. This guy apparently was ex-military. You could tell by the way he was talking. This guy knew what he was talking about. He just basically blurted out that he was in Afghanistan and he shot one. Is there any particular rhesus negative, positive, or anything like that? The rhesus negative factor in it, the negative factor. Our relationship with ICE is one that has very dramatically, if not violently, shifted from one of, and don't worry about it, to one of, boy, you know, this is one of the most important controllers of the future environment of the planet.